Hello and welcome to the episode 278 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. In today's episode, we'll cover the release of the Beatles' first single, more work on the White Album and on Cold Turkey. On the 5th of October 1960, the Beatles, in their quintet lineup featuring Pete Best on drums and Stu Sutcliffe on bass, performed their second night at the Kaiser Keller in Hamburg, West Germany. History was made two years later, in 1962, with the release of Love Me Do on the single market in UK. The single, featuring P.S. I Love You on its B-side, marked the debut of the Beatles on record. Curiously, the initial pressing of the single featured the 4th of September version of Love Me Do, the one featuring Ringo Starr on drums. It was later changed with the 11th of September version, see episode 254 for more info on that, with Andy White on drums and Ringo Starr on tambourine for later releases of the single and for the LP Please Please Me. The master tape of the version with Ringo on drums was subsequently destroyed, a common practice at the time. While EMI North American subsidiary Capitol Records refused to release the song in US, Love Me Do reached number 17 in the UK singles chart, selling a lot in the Liverpool area. Unconfirmed rumours at the time placed 10,000 copies of the record in the hands of Beatles manager Brian Epstein, who would have bought them with his own money to improve the singles standing in the charts. While the claim might be true, no hard proof has ever surfaced to corroborate it. In 1963, the Beatles appeared live at the Concert Hall in Glasgow for the first of three Scottish nights. The mini-tour, if you want to call it that way, was the result of an exclusive deal between promoter Albert Bonici and Brian Epstein. Also on the bill for the evening were Mike Berry and Freddie Starr and the Midnighters. On the 5th of October 1967, the editing of the Magical Mystery Tour film went on as usual at Norman's Film Productions in London. One year later, in 1968, the Beatles returned at the Trident Studios for more work on four White Album songs. Starting at 6 pm, George overdubbed his lead vocal part on Savoy Truffle, with Paul adding harmonies. Then, Paul overdubbed bass and electric guitar on Martha My Dear, completing the song. Since it's doubtful that George's guitar work from the previous day was featured in the final mix, today's guitar of a dove suggests that Martha My Dear could be yet another McCartney Beatles song featuring no other Beatle. It is important to understand these dynamics, to appreciate how the history of the band panned on further down the line. Anyhow, by the 1 am conclusion of the session, Martha My Dear, Honey Pie and Dear Prudence were mixed in mono, and Honey Pie and Martha My Dear were mixed in stereo. More work in studio in 1969, this time at the EMI Studios for a Plastic Kono band release. Between 10 am and 10 pm, John's new outlet returned to the Cold Turkey single, recording a host of new overdubs, including vocals, lead guitars, and the backwards material heard at the very end of the song, with a new stereo mix of the work completed by the end of the session. Before concluding the episode, allow me to remind you to visit www.simonmas.com support to find out how you can help this community to grow and me personally to focus on the creation of more and better music-related content for your needs. See you tomorrow for more stories about the four you love. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.